Hi students, welcome to Alpha C Learning Program Mathematics class. Yesterday we have discussed regarding method of differences from transformations as well as from other concepts in trigonometry also. Now students observe this problem given in IIT 2009 basing on same concept that is method of difference. The problem is here cosecant of and cosecant of that means product of two cosecant functions. Students, in previous session, we have observed actually when denominator is expressing as here product of two terms with sine or cosine or in this way, right? In this way, we have observed in previous session, then whenever any question is given like this, then how we have done actually, whenever it is product with a strategical way, that means here they have here some common difference, etc., then we approach a method known as method of difference. We have taken rth term and thereby we simplified that rth term as two fractions with a difference, right? And later we have done completely by putting r is 1, 2, 3, etc. And we got answers. Okay, so method of difference then the terms must be in denominator. With numerator as, as it is we don't do problems. Even with numerator also, if they are consecutive terms, that means if it is given as TR minus TR minus 1, like this it is there, sigma R is 1 to N. Understand, if it is in this way directly with a difference, then you could substitute R values as 1, 2, 3, etc. Thereby you will get T1 minus T0 plus T2 minus T1 etc. The terms can get cancelled. So to obtain this kind of value, we used to simplify the denominator whenever it is expressed as products. Then we used to multiply divide by suitable factor and thereby we can arrange in this way. Understand? Now this problem is numerator only but not as a difference. It is as a product understand so in numerator directly if it is expressed as a difference we would have used a direct step but the numerator only it is expressed as product of two terms that means you have to write the first step itself is nothing but in this way 1 divided by sin etc but students immediately don't start substituting k values the problem will be lengthy if you are aware of this kind of method of difference concept in trigonometry then immediately while seeing this problem itself you can get a clear idea that means you have to this problem based on method of difference okay let us start the problem now the term is given i am not expanding that means i am not giving k values 1 2 3 etc directly we are going to solve this problem the first step is nothing but we will write cosecant theta as 1 divided by sin theta therefore this is nothing but sigma k equal to 1 to 13 right earlier we have done r is 1 to n etc but now this is k is 1 to 13 and now this cosec values we are writing as 1 divided by sin of the first angle is pi by 4 plus it is k minus 1 and into pi by 6 right and the other value is nothing but it is nothing but sin of it is the same pi by 4 but plus k pi by 6. Now students observe here clearly what is the difference of the two angles. This is one angle and this is another angle. Now what is the difference of these two angles? If this one you take A and this value if I write suppose B then what is the difference? It is A minus B I am checking that is pi by 4 plus k pi by 6 and minus value therefore minus put a bracket pi by 4 and this value is plus k minus 1 times pi by 6 understand so we have done here that means we are just checking how is the difference the same model just like our previous session model problems now pi by 4 minus pi by 4 get cancelled and later suppose if I write this is pi by 4 plus k pi by 6 and this is minus pi by 4 and this is k into pi by 6. So minus k pi by 6 and after that this is minus into minus it is plus. 
and again here multiply with this value so pi by 6 right and now if these two values cancel again this and this so observe what is the difference of the two angles it is nothing but pi by 6 so here you have to understand one point that is the difference is pi by 6 not only for exactly at k it is for every term that is whatever k values you start from 1 onwards everywhere same because the k pi by 6 and k pi by 6 get cancelled implies this difference is pi by 6 independent of k suppose k is 1 k is 2 k is 3 k is 4 etc that means in every term the difference of two angles would be how much here pi by 6 so that point we got to know and then we immediately cannot here multiply divide you should know about what is the difference and thereby now we came to know the difference is nothing but pi by 6 so that students we divide and multiply by sine pi by 6 okay so this is sine pi by 6 in numerator i am writing this value as exactly the difference that is pi by 4 plus k pi by 6 right and next this value is minus it is pi by 4 and plus k minus 1 into pi by 6 right so we have taken the difference of angles and just now we have observed this is nothing but sine pi by 6 so that value is independent of k so i am writing this value outside and now this is here sigma k is 1 to 13 it is given and now the denominator we are writing as it is what is denominator here sign of it is pi by 4 plus k minus 1 into pi by 6 and into the other value sign of pi by 4 plus it is k times pi by 6 right so this value we got and what is our observation first we have observed what is the difference of these two angles and accordingly we have taken numerator denominator same model whatever we have done in previous session problems so that now you got 1 divided by sine pi by 6 so students you know sine 30 is nothing but 1 by 2 so 1 by 1 by 2 means you will get now 2 okay so the value is here 2 and next value instead of writing these big big terms i am taking this value as suppose alpha and this is beta and thereby this value is your alpha and this is beta okay just till simplification let us use because every time these many big terms if you write it is mere time waste so now here 2 into sigma k is 1 to 13 right 1 to 13 you got now sin alpha minus beta divided by denominator sin alpha sin beta okay product so however order you have taken doesn't matter therefore here alpha and this is beta sin alpha sin beta once you got this step then easily you can understand that means this value is two times understand two times sigma numerator i am taking compound angle formula what is compound angle formula sin alpha cos beta minus cos alpha sin beta so that value we are writing here sin alpha cos beta minus cos alpha sin beta okay and whole divided by what is the value here sin alpha sin beta so this is the value we got after expansion now you got the value difference this is our target understand when sigma is there what is in product of terms if at all you got you should get a difference so students observe here you got exactly a minus symbol now once you got this minus symbol i am writing here the numerator denominator if you split what about the values once you got splitting here it is two times understand two times sigma now we are going to split that is sin alpha cos beta and divided by how much here it is sin alpha sin beta right and next value minus minus the other value is cos alpha sin beta 
and divide it by what is the value here it is sin alpha sin beta okay now we got this kind of value okay and now let us check what kind of terms can get cancel so here this sin alpha sin alpha get cancel and here sin beta get cancel so finally students which value you got here cot beta minus cot alpha okay therefore this is two times sigma cot beta minus cot alpha understand so this is exactly what we require as a difference of two terms understand now what is here k values those are 1 to 13 right and let us substitute alpha that is pi by 4 plus k pi by 6 and this is our beta so now let us substitute here this is your alpha and this value i have taken as totally beta right now after, before you expand let us substitute because the expansion is regarding k values understand i can't expand in this way because these alpha and beta are completely independent of k here that doesn't mean these are constant terms with respect to k okay that's why after simplification immediately we are going to substitute those values for further simplification now this is 2 times sigma k equal to 1 to n 1 to 13 right and this is cot beta that means this is cot of this is cot of beta value is pi by 4 plus k minus 1 and into how much it is pi by 6 right and this is the value and next value minus cot alpha alpha means pi by 4 plus k pi by 6 got students still here this is the value okay so whenever sigma a minus b if you come across then you should put it till where, where, wherever sigma applicable bracket sigma is applicable up to b therefore up to there you have to put bracket and this is nothing but here sigma a and if you write like this these are unequal that means here minus value you are separating but not with sigma understand if at all you write sigma a minus sigma b then it will be right so whenever you got difference immediately put here a bracket so that you can understand this sigma is both for a and b whereas here it is only for a but not for b that's why the bracket is very very important and now let us substitute here starting values k is 1 2 etc right now 2 into first i am substituting k is 1 then this is once you started substitution of k values don't write again sigma now suppose i am taking k is 1 then cot it is pi by 4 because 1 minus 1 is 0 and minus here it is cot pi by 4 plus pi by 6 right so this is your first term then immediately no need of substituting what is pi by 4 plus pi by 6 etc no need to here discussing about those matters let us start here that means let us continue here all our re remaining substitutions now plus plus it is k is 2 k is 2 if i put what is the value 2 minus 1 understand this value you got for k is 1 and now k is 2 that means got it is pi by 4 plus 2 minus 1 so pi by 6 and next value k is 2 minus cot pi by 4 plus it is 2 pi by 6 right so this is when k equal to 2 the value you got got it students now in this way if you continue the substitution of all values plus e etc plus the last value that means when you substitute k equal to 13 then what would happen cot of pi by 4 plus k is 13 so 13 minus 1 12 pi by 6 right and next value minus cot of pi by 4 plus it is 13 pi by 6 so we completed our substitution of all k values right and this you got here for k is 13 understand students now once you substituted each of the values according as the sigma notation 
let us observe here how are the terms now check here here minus value whereas here plus value same term so that's why i told you no need to here simplify now let us cancel here this and this now compare these two angles which angle is large this angle is the largest one so second one is cancel here and next again here this second term with that first term get cancel like the students all values get cancel and this term also can be get cancel with the preceding term whereas here it is left with the entire value and here also this is the final value so i already told you the least value and the largest value those will be only our leftover terms after our simplification now let us here simplify this kind of value so what is the value here we got two times right it is two times now cot of pi by 4 what is cot pi by 4 it is a known value 45 degrees cot 45 that is 1 and next to this value students it is 13 pi by 6 plus pi by 4 now instead of pi by 6 is 30 30 into 13 plus 45 evaluating all those let us simplify first this term itself what is 13 by 6 right so what is 13 by 6 actually it is nothing but in this way if i write 12 and here it is 2 therefore this is nothing but 2 plus how much 1 by 6 if you take lcm 12 plus 1 13 okay now it is multiplied by what actually pi so this is nothing but 13 pi by 6 is nothing but 2 pi plus what pi by 6 therefore here you can easily observe 13 pi by 6 plus pi by 4 so 13 pi by 6 plus pi by 4 simply it is nothing but 2 pi plus pi by 6 and plus how much it is pi by 4 got it and now to that which function is attached it is cot therefore if i take cot of this entire value okay is cot of this entire value that is cot of 2 pi plus now easily you can observe here what is this one 30 plus 45 what is 30 plus 45 75 right and therefore this is 5 pi by 12 now students 180 divided by 12 that is 15 15 into 5 means 75 so what is 2 pi plus it is of the form 2 pi plus theta cot of 2 pi plus theta is nothing but cot theta so finally this is nothing but how much here cot 5 pi by 12 right now what is cot 75 degrees cot 75 degrees same as tan 15 degrees right and what is tan 15 degrees value 2 minus root 3 now students i think you, you are understanding the importance of all our previous formula so this is an iit problem actually it is given in 2009 so what are the importances you have observed see all kinds of formula you have been observing here those are nothing but this we deduced from compound angles and next these are from allied angles and next in the beginning we wrote again compound angle sin of alpha minus beta and again here we are going to substitute understand like that here one problem you are taking the problem is not confined to exactly multiple and sub multiple exactly transformation we cannot say they may mix here all kinds of concepts understand that's why you should be thorough with all types of formulae and this you can get easily from by just now by practice so now students what is the value you got here first value we got that is cot pi by 4 it is 1 and next value you got minus symbol is there so this value we simplified and this value the simplified value is nothing but how much here 2 minus root 3 okay that value along with minus i am going to substitute now so 1 minus 2 minus root 3 okay if i write like this so then what is the value 2 into 1 minus 2 it is minus 
minus into minus plus root 3. So finally, what is our answer? 2 times root 3 minus 1. So students, this is the final answer. Understand? So what is the beginning? First, what we have done to solve this problem? Product, it is coming and sigma value is there for k values and moreover the angles if you observe just these two angles are differ by only a constant pi by 6 so with that idea with numerator as it is you can't run here because if you express it as a difference then the problem will be easy but as it is if you observe you can't express it as a difference that's why we reduced these value in terms of sign 1 by sine into 1 by sine we wrote and the rest of the thing is just by our previous evaluations. Understand students? So one of the important models. Now students observe this one also. We started with the sine problem that is 1 by sine 45, sine 46 etc. Though, so you may think that just now we have done one sine problem then why again sine problem like that. Understand? Now observe clearly students how the denominator terms are given. So the lot of twist is there in this problem. You should read the problem very very carefully. And we can't give up that just this is the previous model. So it is not necessary to solve. Easily we can do. Observe here 45 degrees, 46 degrees right. And next actually we have done problems till now. The continuation is 46 but here it is 47 there is no continuation so observe the point what should be here our terms so those are sine 45 into sine 46 and later we expect it is sine 46 into sine 47 and later again plus 1 by sine 47 sine 48 like this we expect so that our method of difference concept can be work out understand but if you observe the terms are after 46 you are not finding here 47 that means which term is missing here this kind of term is missing understand and next here again 48 so we expect again here 48 then only if you expand as here the minus difference of terms if connectivity is there then the terms can get cancelled. But here there is no connectivity that means let us observe here what are the missing terms. The missing terms are nothing but here students and between these two actually our expectation is here 1 divided by sine 46 degrees and into sine 47 degrees okay. And next one between these two terms again your expectation is 1 divided by sine 48 degrees and into sine 49 degrees right and in this way if you proceed then the problem will be very easy but here those are not there then what to do finally they said the answer is of this model 1 by sine n degrees what is the value of least positive integer understand least positive integer so numerical problems they can ask like this also so what could be the least positive integer of n understand so how to start this problem that means you have to get in the middle in this way then problem will be very easy just we can go for method of difference by multiplying dividing by the difference of the angle now observe students here some acute angles present here as well as obtuse angles also present understand acute as well as obtuse both present so we know the method by converting obtuse angles in terms of acute angles understand allied angle again we apply let us see here from the end what are the terms angles how they gave this is 133 degrees 133 degrees students if you observe clearly it is 180 minus how much actually 47 degrees if you add these two values it is 180 degrees next one 134 degrees if i write it is nothing but 180 minus how much here 46 degrees understand and therefore you can observe the last term is nothing but exactly from the beginning whatever the first term we are expected that it is missing the term exactly you got that means the first missing term you got from 
the last term now let us have a glance again the preceding term understand students you observe everywhere all first angles they started with odd number 45 47 49 etc this is 133 all first angles that means the least in the product is nothing but uh, odd number and the even number is the next value therefore here also you observe 133 134 this is the last pair and the preceding one that is last but one the last but one is nothing but it is 131 degrees and 132 degrees understand started with odd number here everywhere so 131 132 and 131 means 180 minus how much we can write here 49 degrees whereas 132 means it is 180 minus how much 48 degrees right and therefore you can get here exactly this kind of value therefore nothing to worry about here some terms are missing etc those will be compensated by our actually obtuse angles which you can easily convert as acute angles understand now where to end the process that is again another question so you can continue like this but where is the last term you can stop what is the maximum acute angle present observe students these are here odd numbers next value is even number so that if you proceed i think here the term can be 1 divided by sin if i write 89 degrees immediately the other value is 90 by here the acute angle concepts will be stop then next term what it would be actually 91 understand plus you will get here sin 91 and into sin 92 degrees these are in the middle whatever i am telling here these are nothing but in the middle so the acute angle story will be here stop at exactly 1 by this term understand sin 89 sin 90 here exactly it will be stop and therefore students here this is the value here which is the last one you are going to convert that is 180 minus how much this value easily you can observe this kind of values and 92 also you can get the preceding term understand now let me write here completely all values moreover each value is with sin therefore sin 133 same as sin 180 minus 47 which is sin 47 so sin 133 degrees is same as sin 47 sin 134 is same as sin 46 therefore students now our problem is completely with this is 1 divided by how much the first existing term as it is sin 45 sin 46 right and next plus this is the other value and next the other term this is our existing term here that means it is plus 1 divided by sin 47 degrees and into sin 48 degrees right now in this way let us have a glance what is our last term last term is the ending of our acute angle start with here odd number end with even number that is 1 divided by sin 89 degrees and into sin 90 degrees right and the other values are just they are coming here in the middle middle whatever we missed all those are covered now students exactly this is our method of difference concept you got and therefore the procedure is as it is so what is the difference of angles here 1 degree and here also 1 degree and here also 1 degree etc till here so let's have a glance here the meaning is here this is 1 divided by sin 1 degree right sin 1 degree and next this value numerator you are going to write how much here sin of 46 minus 45 okay and the denominator it is nothing but sin 45 and into sin 46 in the same way the other value sign it is 47 minus 46 right and denominator it is sign 46 degrees sign 47 degrees plus etc what about the last term the last term is nothing but here students it is numerator sign of numerator it is sign of 90 minus 
89 whereas in denominator it is nothing but sin 89 and into sin 90 in this problem i didn't take the rth term if at all you want you can take rth term starting from where 45 and end with how much 90 okay or 89 now here if i write 1 divided by sin 1 degree so if i write formula what is the value sin 46 and into cos 45 minus cos 46 and into sin 45 okay and divided by i am splitting here this is sin 45 and into sin 46 degrees minus again here sin 45 degrees and into sin 46 degrees right and now you know the story rest of the story completely so i am not writing all other values i am concentrating again on the last term what is the last term sin 90 and into how much cos 89 and next value minus cos 90 and into sin 89 okay or here itself you can simplify simply it is nothing but how much students cos 89 and this one is sin 90 like that also we can do so now this is cos 90 sin 89 and whole divided by denominator sin 89 and into here sin 90 whereas this value is sin 89 and into sin 90 right so now students observe what type of terms are going to get cancel here clearly sin 46 get cancel so you got cot 45 and here again sin 45 cancel and here you got cot 46 so you got students here clearly the difference of terms as it is nothing but 1 divided by sin 1 degree and in bracket if you observe it is the first one is cot 45 degrees right and next value is minus it is cot 46 degrees and next value it is observe here cot 45 minus cot 46 in the same way the other term you got here plus cos cot 46 and minus cot 47 understand students so like this if you observe what is the here the last value you got it is plus so on plus cot 89 and the next value is minus cot 90 degrees understand so you got in this way here sin 89 sin 89 get cancel you left with cot 90 now the second term is getting cancel here with the first term that means these two cancel again the other cancel so students observe here this is the higher value and this is our lower value therefore what is the observation here 1 divided by sin 1 degree and into this is 1 minus you know very well cot 90 means it is cos 90 by sin 90 0 by 1 that is 0 therefore finally what is our answer 1 divided by sin 1 degree hence students what is the least positive integer that is 1 why they mention least positive because i can write the same value as sin 179 degrees also no error because 180 minus 1 so 179 or you can write again 360 plus 1 understand in that way you can simply make use of 2 n pi plus 1 that's why they gave clearly what is the least positive integer such that the value can satisfy so students what is our answer now n is equal to 1 degree now in sign functions we did the method of difference problems using transformation concepts compound angle concept as well as allied angle concept also okay